You think sleeping is a waste of time? Dream on. A new study shows that napping and dreaming specifically can be a surprising learning tool. Our Dr. Jennifer Ashton is here with the details. Good morning. Good morning, Maggie. So what did the study find? This was done in Boston. They looked at 99 students. They showed them a complicated computer maze. Then they let half of them nap for 90 minutes. The group that napped and dreamt about the maze while they were sleeping did much better on the immediate recall. So if you remember your Shakespeare, to sleep perchance to dream, ah. dreaming is important for locking in memory. So napping is better than staying awake and dreaming while napping is ideal. Do they know what it is about dreaming that helps you learn better? They really don't and it's such a complex process but we know that there are stages of sleep. Most dreaming occurs after about 90 minutes of sleep. That's how they picked that number. But you can think of it almost like putting jello in the refrigerator. You can eat the jello before it's really hardened but it's really good once it's been locked in. And that's the thinking behind what sleeping does to processing memory. So they're not sure exactly how it works, but they feel that to reap the benefits, you have to sleep at least 90 minutes? 90 minutes. But okay. there's two important things when you talk about time. First of all, napping during the day, you can get those benefits for learning and memory improvement with as little as 10 or 12 minutes. I used to put my head in my medical school books. Is that right? For 10 minutes, I used to have my, my friend wake me up after 10 minutes and but refresh. But doesn't it take you that long to fall asleep? Or do you are one not of those if you're people tired. And, huh. and most Americans are chronically sleep deprived and those who find that they're sleeping more on a weekend to catch up doesn't work that way. You need to get regular amount of sleep, seven to eight hours is ideal every night and really it's not just for your physical health but your mental and intellectual health so as well. So do you think that is the, the number one takeaway from this study for all of us? Nap. Put Nap. your head down, lie on the floor in your office. As little as 10 minutes you can really see an improvement all in right. how you process memory. Thank you Jen. By the way, to explain my nasty plastic <laughs> bag, uh, paper bag here, it's Jen's birthday. Oh, Happy Maggie. birthday! I got you a cupcake! Thank you, babes. Enjoy. We love you, Jen. 29 years old again. <sighs> <laughs> you don't look a day over Thanks, 25. <laughs> Thank you, Jen. A lot happens early on The Early Show. Weekday mornings on CBS.